Beloved, we welcome you to St. Andrew's Church, Bukoto. Thank you for choosing to worship with us. We are a Christ-centered church caring for the community. And our mission is knowing Christ, but also making Him known by preaching and teaching the Word of God, nurturing believers and mobilizing resources for the sustainability of the church and the community. And here at St. Andrews, we have what we call eight core ministries. I want to encourage you to plug in there, to join these ministries. We have the Father's Union. We have the Mother's Union. We have the Christian Women Fellowship, Partners in Love, the Powers. We, we have Music Ministry. We have the Children's Ministry. We have the Youth Ministry. We have the Campus Fellowship. We have the King's Business Fellowship. And we also have Mission and Evangelism, which is a ministry that actually grows the church. Don't miss our monthly overnight as well. That happens every last Friday of the month at 9 p.m. St. Andrews, I want to assure you, we are fishers of men. Welcome, boys and girls. My name is Teacher Kathy. Um, I welcome you all to another beautiful Sunday. But we be before we begin our service, let's humble ourselves and ask God to be with us. Our hands together, eyes closed. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for being with us all the time. Today is a new Sunday. Be with us. Give us your knowledge, your understanding, so that we may listen to your word and do what you tell us to do. I pray all this believing and trusting in your name. Amen. And all God's children say, Amen. Well, boys and girls, we'd like to remind ourselves of the rules that we have when we are having our lessons. Uh, our rule number one says, sit up. Everyone, don't even say anything. Just do what the rule says. Everyone sit up. When you're seated up, you're seated in the chair. Your hands are on your thighs. And then you're going to listen up. When we listen up, we are making sure that we are closing our mouths and using our ears to listen to God's word. Everyone touch your ear. When we touch our ears, we remind ourselves that we have to listen up. And another rule says, look up. When we are looking up, we are looking at the teacher who is teaching. We should not look at our neighbors. We should not turn around, but we should look at the teacher. Well, now we are going for our praise and worship. When we are praising God, we are going to stand up. We are going to dance. So everybody stand up, stand up quickly, quickly. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. We are going to go into the time of praise and worship. I hope we are ready. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. God is a good God. God is a good God. Yes, He. Oh, God is a good God. Yes, He. God is a good God. Yes, He. He makes me jump, jump, jump. Make me turn around. Set my feet on higher ground. He makes me jump, 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 and makes me turn around. He set my feet on higher ground. God is a good God. Yes, He is. God is a good God. Yes, He is. God is a good God. Yes, He is. God is a good God. Yes, He. He makes me jump, 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 and makes me turn. Set my feet on higher ground. He makes me jump, 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 and makes me turn around. He set my feet on higher ground. Talima katonda fe, talima talimelira. Thank you. 
God is good and all the time God is good and that is his nature wow okay children we are going to humble ourselves hands together eyes closed power in the precious blood of the Lamb. So we are going to go ahead and tell God of how great He is and how powerful He is in our lives. So let's humble ourselves by putting our hands together and closing our eyes. Dear Lord, we thank you very, very much for your goodness. Lord, we know that you are powerful above all things. Lord, even when we are weak, you remain powerful. As we continue learning from your word today, Lord, may you continue helping us to understand who you are in our lives. Lord, may you use the teachers going to speak to us for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. And everyone say, Amen. All right, boys and girls. Welcome back from that session of praise and worship. I trust that we have really, really, really understood that there is power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Well, I would like to begin this class, our Bible lesson, with this. What is this, boys and girls, and what is it used for? I'm sure you all say, that's a padlock. It's true. This is a padlock. And what is a padlock used for, boys and girls? Very many people use a padlock for, protect, for protection, protecting their property, protecting their houses. And what are they protecting themselves from? Many of them are protecting 
themselves from thieves. You know thieves? Yes. But today's lesson reminds me there is someone, something that you and I cannot protect ourselves from using this. And what is this very thing I am talking about? Well, today we are going to talk about the armor of God. And what can't we protect ourselves from? Boys and, boys and girls, this is the archangel. Teacher Kathy taught us about the fallen angels, boys and girls. And who are these fallen angels? Teacher Kathy told us these are the angels who came with Satan. And Satan is the archangel, which means he is superior. He is the boss of all the fallen angels. But this padlock, boys and girls, cannot protect us from this angel. In fact, while Satan was staying in heaven, boys and girls, remember, teachers said he was called Lucifer. Remember that? Yes, he was called Lucifer. And because of his bad behaviors, because of his pride, because he wanted to be worshipped, he had to come down. God had to cast him down. The word cast means he was pushed down to earth. And you know what, boys and girls? He came down with many of the spirits or many of the angels. And you know what? This Lucifer, this devil, has a very bad destination. And you know what that is? The Bible tells us it's hell where he has to suffer forever. But he doesn't want to go alone. That is why he keeps on inviting us, inviting you and I to go with him. You know why he does that? Because Lucifer, the Bible tells us that he is a thief. Yes, he is a thief. The Bible tells us, I will read in John chapter 10, verse 10. John is found in the second part of the Bible. It says, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. That is what the devil wants to do with you. And that is what he came to do with you and I. He came to steal. Steal us from what? He wants, us to, he, he, he wants to steal us from eternal life. He came to steal. That is number one. After he steals us from eternal life, telling us to do the things that he wants us to do, then you know what he wants us to do? When we are with him, he will then kill us. And as if that is not enough, boys and girls, after he kills us, you know what he wants to do? He wants to do something very, very terrible. He wants to destroy. He wants to totally destroy us. How are you and I going to overcome this thief, Lucifer, the archangel, the fallen angel? How are you going to do it? You know what, boys and girls? We need to fight him. But how are we going to fight him? Are we going to use punching? Are we going to scratch? Are we going to use guns? Are we going to use arrows? What are we going to use to fight the enemy? Well, boys and girls, the sad thing is we cannot use any of those things because this devil, Lucifer, is a spirit. He is a spirit, and because he is a spirit, we cannot see him. So we cannot punch a spirit. We cannot scratch a spirit. We cannot use a gun on a spirit. But you know what? The Bible says that greater is he who lives in me and you than the devil who is in the world. That means in you, in me, there is someone greater. 
who is God. God is greater than any of the spirits, any of the fallen angels. And because of that, he had a way for you and I. What is that way? He gave us a dress. He gave us a what? He gave us a dress. He provided us with a dress we can wear. And when we put on that dress, boys and girls, there is no way this devil, this Lucifer, will win us. I want you to listen to the dress he gave us. Well, the Bible tells us in Ephesians, if you have your Bible, turn to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. I'm not going to read the whole of it, boys and girls, but I want you to read it. It says in Ephesians, it says, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11, it says, Put on the full armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. What dress am I talking about? The verse tells us the full armor of God. So you and I have to wear the full armor of God. And when we read down in the scripture, boys and girls, I want you to read there. I may not be able to read there because of time. But what is the full armor of God? I came with some of the things the Bible says are the full armor of God. Number one, we need to cover our head with a helmet of salvation. So I want you all to put on the helmet of salvation. After you put on the helmet of salvation, scripture tells us to wear the breastplate of righteousness. This means you and I choose to do what is right before God all the time. And after putting on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, then we also need, can we read together, the belt of truth. What is the truth? The truth is the word of God. That is why the truth, the word of God, should always be with you. And then the sword of the spirit, the sword of the spirit is still the word of God. Because the enemy will come to attack us with lies. But because we have the word of God and we know the truth, we are able to overcome him using the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. And then the shield of faith. You and I need to have faith in God. Faith is believing what God says he will do. If God says that when you believe in him, you are a child of God, you should believe that you are a child of God and you can overcome the enemy. In addition to all that we have talked about, you know what? The devil will not attack our feet if we put on the shoes ready to preach the gospel of peace. This means you and I need to always share what we have learned. When we put on, boys and girls, when we put on the whole armor of God, what have I said? The helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, hold the sword, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, and the shoes ready to preach the gospel of God. There is no way this enemy will overcome us because there is power in the word of God. There is power in the army of God. So if you are a child of God, boys and girls, you do not need, need to fear these fallen angels. You do not need to fear Lucifer or Satan. Why? Because you have the armor of God. And if Jesus is not in your heart, boys and girls, you need him so that you can also be able to wear that dress, the full armor of God. I want you to bow your head where you are and pray to God. I'm not going to lead you in the confession prayer. I want you to do it. And when you do it, you will share with your mom or with your dad so that they can help you to grow in the Lord. Boys and girls, remember to always put on the full armor of God.
Wow, thank you so much, Teacher Rebecca, for showing us what that dress that God gave us, which is the armor of God. And the armor of God reminds us of how soldiers wear. When soldiers are going uh, into a war, they are putting on the armor of God. We are going to sing a song that says, I am a soldier in the army of God. What a nice lesson about the armor of God. Today, today's lesson has been about the armor of God, and I'm sure everyone has got it right. But there is something very interesting about our lesson today, something that I've learned myself. Do you want to know what it is? It is the memory verse. Listen to what the memory verse says in the Bible. It is in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Put on all the armor that God gives you so that you'll be able to stand against the devil's tricks. The memory verse is telling us that when you put on the full armor of God, we are able to take a chance. We take our stand against the devil's plans. Schemes means the devil's plans. So if we want to stand against the devil's plans, we need to put on the full armor of God. And now we are going to say our memory verse with actions. Do you know how you put on your clothes at home? How do you put on your clothes? I'm sure you begin here. So we are going to put on the full armor of God. God stays in heaven. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand. We are going to stand. Now you're going to stand like police officers. Do you know how they stand when they're on parade? Uh, how we are going to do like them. You put on the full armor of God so that you can stand. Has your neighbor stood the way the teacher has stood? We are going to repeat it one more time. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. The devil's schemes, these are the devil's plans. And the devil is in hell. So we are going to do this. The lack of fire. We are going to do this to show that the devil stays down and God stays in heaven. Okay, we do it one more time. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Okay, so we begin, we begin by opening our Bibles, Ephesians 6, 11. Your neighbor is not saying the memory verse. Are they saying it? Okay, one, two, three, we go. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Has your neighbor done it right? Ephesians 6, 11. Has your neighbor done it well? We are going to do it now closing our eyes. Do you think your neighbor is going to say the memory verse? Everyone close your eyes and we see who has got the memory verse. Are your eyes closed now? Okay, we are going to do the actions of the memory verse. We are not going to recite the memory verse. Okay, close your eyes and we do the actions. One, two, three, we go. Okay, boys and girls, now we can open our eyes and we see the memory verse while looking at our screens, okay? Uh -huh, one, two, three, we go. Ephesians 6, 11. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. All right, boys and girls, thank you very much. Well, boys and girls, I hope you've learned the memory verse. Let's repeat the memory verse one more time. 
One, two, three, we go. Ephesians 6, 11. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. I hope this week and forever we will put on the full armor of God so that we can take our stand against the devil's schemes. We've come to the end of our service. Uh, we usually give offertory wherever uh, you keep your offertory, uh, get your offertory, put it in a container and give it to our mummies, our aunties, our daddies, and they'll bring it to church. Let us pray. Our hands together, eyes closed, and heads bow. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word today. You tell us to put on the full armor of God so that we can take our stand against the devil's schemes. Help us this week, Lord, to know when to... Uh, take our stand against the devil's schemes. If the devil is telling us to lie, we pray that we may put on the armor of God so that we may not lie. I pray all this believing and trusting in your name. Amen. And may the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forever. Amen. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye.